Hello and welcome to Omnis Technologies. My name is Ryan and today I'm going to show you how to set up two-step verification for your Google account. It's important you enable two-step verification because unfortunately passwords are leaked online all the time through third-party data breaches, things like that. So it's important to add this extra barrier of protection. So we'll go ahead and jump right into it. So here I'm just on Google's homepage, google.com, and I'm going to go up to my profile picture here. We're going to go to manage account. Now we'll go over to the left and choose security. And then we want to go to two-step verification. Mine is off right now. And we'll get started. So I'm going to make sure my account is correct and I'll have my password here. So we'll have to log in again. Okay, and now this is going to show me that I have an iPhone uh, on my Google account. This is because I installed the Gmail app onto my phone. And that's going to speed up this two-step verification process. We'll go over the other ways uh, to verify your logins too, but this is the ones that they're going to do by default. So if you don't, if your device isn't showing up here, you'll need to download the Gmail app. It's for free, either on iOS or Android. And once you log in on that app, you'll see, you might refresh this page, and then you'll see your device here. So we'll say try it now. And over on my phone, I should be getting a prompt. I open Gmail, and I'm trying to sign in. I'll say yes. And my sign in is approved. And now they're going to ask me to give a backup number. So I'll have my phone number here. It's going to text me a code. I'll push send. And I should be getting my code here. There it is. I'll enter the code here. And next. And then finally, we will push turn on. And now our two step verification is set up. So I mentioned that there were some other things we could do to verify those. So maybe if you're traveling and you don't think the cell service will be re reliable enough or your Wi Fi network won't be reliable enough to get these messages or get these Google prompts. So you'll actually use the Authenticator app. I'll scroll down and set up the Authenticator app. And I have an iPhone. So now I'll open the Authenticator app. This is another free download for Android and iOS. Okay, so I've opened the app and I'll begin setup. And I'll scan the barcode. Now I'll click next, and I have until this timer runs out to input this code. So I'll say seven, two, three, verify. And now I'm set up, and I'll click done. And then I'll demonstrate that even if I turn my phone into airplane mode, turn Wi-Fi off, that I can, and if I sign out here, sign in again, and I'll try another way, verification code from here, and now I'll type in 502, 522. Again, my phone is in airplane mode, not connected here at all. And I'll say next. And it worked. I'm logged in. So if you're on a personal or private device and you're the only one who uses it, then you can uh, check the um, always trust this device. So I'll sign out again. And I'll sign in. Say next. I'll put in my password again. And now, now it's giving me two-step verification. And it gives me the option to don't ask again on this computer. 
So since this is my personal trusted computer, I'll click that so you don't have to do this second step every time I log in here. But if other devices are trying to log into this account, they will have to go through this two-step verification. So once again, if I open my Gmail app, there it is. Yes, that's me. Sign in approved. And there we go. So I hope that gives you an idea how simple and easy it can be to set up our two-step verification on Google, give that extra barrier of security. And if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us at info at Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.